Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Clayton, Alabama. We are at Barber County High School here as the Charles Henderson Trojans take on the Barber County Jaguars. That's right, Brandon. We're happy to be on the road today. This is the first road game, really, we've done outside of Troy, and we're uh, really excited to be here. It is. This game was originally set to play uh, Friday night, December the 8th, and was postponed due to uh, inclement weather. Uh, so it was scheduled again to play Tuesday night here in Clayton. So us at Wiregrass Sports decided let's hit the road and let's make it happen. That's right. That's right, Brandon. And we're really excited to be here, like I said. And uh, this being the varsity girls team, the uh, Barber County Jaguars, and we can hear the crowd here. we got a loud crowd here. They're currently announcing the starters for the Jaguars. Let's go over the lineup here. We have number three, Nayara Jones for Charles Henderson. Number 10, Micaiah Milton. Number 12, Tanner Moore. Number 14, Reese Moore. Number 15, Samaria Moore. And number 23, Mariah Davenport. Miss Davenport's gonna be the star player for the Trojans here. Number 24, Alicia Thomas, number 30, Nala Baker, number 32, Ajayla May, number 33, Whitaker Lowry, and number 34, Tatiana Seeler. For your Barber County Jaguars, at number 33, Bianca Carter, uh, number 10, Miss Rump, 21, Kimbria Geis, 23, Miracle Woods, number 30, Tiana Rogers, number 14, Keandra Cunningham, number 44, Miss Parnell, 25, Keisha Nelson, 15, Kara Richardson, number 50, Precious Rump, and 32, Marissa Rogers. And we're ready for tip-off here. That's right, Brandon. And Barbara. Charles Henderson's gonna gain first possession, so the possession arrow will go to Barber County. Davenport with the pass inside in the basket. It's good for Charles Henderson to put points on the board first. And got number 32, bringing it down for the Jaguars. As she'll pass it to the key. And they'll double team her to try to get the ball, and they will get it. So the Jaguars are inbound the ball here after Charles Henderson has a uh, uh, strong defensive. And inbounding the ball here, and it's going to be one more time. So we'll do it one skin. So Charles Henderson will bring it down. Two to nothing, still the score. And they'll get another two points there. So four to nothing now here for early for the Charles Henderson Trojans. Uh, Jaguars here to a late start. Fourteen Cunningham to inbound the ball. She passes to thirty-three. She's stuck the in the corner and she's going to lose it. And they're going to say we stay here. Jaguar ball. She inbounds the ball, driving in the paint. We're going to have a whistle and call for a jump ball. Barber County had possession error, so we'll stay here on the baseline for Jaguar ball. Miss Cunningham to inbound the ball on the baseline. She throws it to the top of the key. Rogers driving in, passes in the corner, and she's going to lose it. It's going to be Trojans basketball. And 4 nothing still here. Jones is going to bring the ball in, pass off to the wing. She's looking in the lane, nothing there. She steps in for the jump shot, and she rims out. But the offensive rebound will give them two points there. 
So six nothing now. Great start here for the Charles Henderson Trojans. And number 32 for the Jaguars will bring it in. And another blocked pass by Charles Henderson. And it'll stay here on the floor as the uh, Jaguars retain possession. Number three bringing it down the court. And she thought about the three and she'll take two. And in and out there. And Jaguars will get the rebound, but a double team by Charles Henderson. A little pressure here. Yeah, a little pressure, full court pressure. And we'll get a foul call. We'll see what it is. You can always bet the officials are going to slow that full court press well, down. That's right, that's right. And that's going to be a steal for the Trojans. Jones brings it down, passes inside. And another two points. It's eight nothing now with 5'11 left. And number 23, Davenport there is going to be your star for the Charles Henderson Trojans. That's She's right. She's going to crash the boards, for rebounds and points tonight. And there's a steal. She's going to drive the lane. Take it all the way herself. She, and get the foul on the shot. She missed the basket, so she's going to go to the lane for two shots. It's not working. Jaguars inbound the ball. And that's the first time we've seen them try to drive the lane, and Charles Henderson's got a great defense for it. Almost steals that one. And maybe we'll see a shot here. No, this mishandles it. This Trojan defense is very, uh, very, tough. Right. very that's tough. That's right. And the shot finally will miss. Davenport with the rebound. I'll tell you what, you weren't kidding. Davenport's going to be their best player. Pushes it up in the key of Jones. And a tip will take that out of bounds. And it'll be Trojan's ball on the baseline. And Davenport with the ball. She'll shoot uh, out there. I think that's the second missed shot we've seen from her, but not many. And she gets the ball and the foul. So the bucket and the foul. So it's 10 nothing now. 11 nothing. excuse me. And with that free throw made, it's 12. Rogers oh, double court here. pressure here from Charles Henderson. Jaguars, and they're going to lose it down the sideline, and it's going to be Trojan ball. <laughs> and that Charles Henderson defense, man, that, that is, it's killing it tonight. It is tough. It is tough. And so we'll see them bring it down here. Oh, thinks about the shot for a second, decides not to. Kicks it back to the key. No, she doesn't. Gets it down to the lane, shoots, and scores for another two points for Charles Henderson. So 14 nothing now. The Jaguars do not have an answer for the Charles Henderson defense with this full court press. And they'll be stolen there, and another two points for Charles Henderson. Timeout, Jaguars. And we'll take a timeout as well. We'll be right back. Located on Emma Drive off of Highway 231 in Troy, Alabama. $10,000. And they all got to go. Payments as low as $99 a month. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. You can drive today. Hurry to Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Or check us out at PremierTroy.com. Nobody beats a Premier deal. No! 
Buy it's a 10,000 and under 10 cents. Don't miss it. Preston Steak and Grill in Troy serves quality food cooked over a wood fire grill. Call us for any event you may need catered at 334-770-0675. We're located at 1647 US 231 in Troy, Alabama. And we're back. And Charles Henderson's defense again tries to take the ball away, and they'll force an air ball here. But an offensive rebound will keep it alive almost for the first points for Jaguars. Another offensive board. And another shot. She's going to try three, and, and she banks it off the glass. It's going to be a three. That's going to put the Jaguars on the board for the first time tonight with 2.36 left in the first quarter. So 16 to three now. Jaguars gonna rebound. And got him coming Trojan's up the court now. pull back to half court pressure. She picks up her dribble, passes it in, 33 down the lane, and she meets Davenport with nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Uh, the defense for the Trojans has been the talk of this game so far. And if the Jaguars don't have a way to come back from it, uh, I don't see them doing much in this oh, game. No, Davenport with the ball, driving the lane. And she's going to dunk it. I'm just kidding. She didn't dunk it. Two <laughs> she, points, though. She did. She <laughs> did make the basket. She did. That, which would have been impressive if she would have. Trojans with another steal on this press. Into the lane. and Oh, but a block there. No foul. No foul call. No They're going to let him play, I guess. I'm fine with that. And a minute 30 left in this first quarter. Trojans inbound the ball. Jones at the top of the key, looking for Davenport, not there. Oh. Finally <laughs> tried to dish it into him. <laughs> I tell you what, we were joking about her dunking earlier, but she <laughs> she was up there, and, and she's still up there. They finally get it to her, and the basket's good off the glass. So 20 to three now with a minute seven. And another Charles Henderson will steal Trojan. it again. No, no whistle and another steal. So Jaguars will take it. Once again, that. Oh, she's going to steal it. in the paint and meets Davenport, and it and seems that's it. to go the other way. That's it. And then she cleans up on the offensive rebound there. So another two points. How many points does she have now? I'm not sure. We're going to say Davenport a lot tonight. It, I'm sure. At least 66 percent. And another steal by the Trojans. And a, another basket, if I had to guess, and I guessed correctly. It's 24 to 3 now. And Jag is going to inbound the ball as her – and they lose the ball as the coach is trying to talk to his player. She's trying to call timeout. And the Trojans scored before that, and it's going to count since there was no official timeout ever called. And it looks like there's not going to be a timeout, so they're just going to inbound the ball. But well, they the official caught it on him. I, I believe we had a player who had something going on. It didn't look like an injury, but she was at the bench talking to her coach, wanting a timeout, and the Trojans are just putting this pressure on. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be the name of this game. And a jump ball, finally, with 8.8 uh, .8 seconds left. We'll see if the Trojans can get... And one more basket. For Davenport. Uh, so, 28-3. She's uh, got a triple-double. That's going <laughs> to take us to the second quarter. 
We're going to take a quick time out and we'll be right back. And we're back here in the second quarter of this contest. It is 28 to 3. Can I say not hit that? Jaguars with the ball in the corner back to the wing. Trojans almost with another steal. This Trojan defense is something devastating. Thirty with the shot. And it's rebounded by the Trojans. Tim with the ball at the top of the key. She passes. And number on. fourteen thought about taking it, but she's going to give it to Davenport, Davenport for another is two. Resting at the moment. That's not Davenport. No, that's. Oh, I'm be sorry. Moore. Samaria Moore. I didn't realize they had two people that were that tall on their team. <laughs> And Jaguars up. trying to move this ball around the key. That's right. Just moving the ball around the perimeter, looking for something inside. But, I mean, it looks like we have a lot of substitutions currently for the Trojans. And, I mean, the defense didn't let up. And so we'll see an inbound here for Charles Henderson. Three-pointer for the Trojans is no good. But they get the offensive board and it'll be two. And the Jaguars just moving the ball around the perimeter. And they're trying to break through this defense, but every it's time they do, it's just a double team. It's not happening. It's not gonna happen. Oh, the and there's a shoot. A shot off, but she didn't get a lot of goal, and they're going to give it back to the Jaguars. That's right. And the cheerleader is finally getting into it here. Oh. 32 inbounds the ball for the Jaguars. A little fancy footwork here by, uh, oh, it's going to be a half court. Nope. Nope, just going to be a foul. Tim Black with a foul. Going to call uh, for the push. I thought she stepped on the half court line there. It was close. It was close. It was close. And another double team. That seems to be the strategy here, and it's definitely working. Official uh, Cypher said that it was tipped, tipped there, so yeah. no back court call on that time. And a three pointer. It's going to be an air ball. Uh, but we have an offensive rebound. Maybe give some low. Oh, another three pointer. And another air ball. Trojan's going to come up with it this time and push the ball, just like they pushed that defense and pushing the ball down the court. 15 goes in the lane. She misses the basket, but it's uh, rebounded by the Trojans and another basket for two points. So 34-3 to three now. The run rule for Alabama High School Athletic Association High School basketball is a 30-point lead at the fourth quarter. The clock runs. But I believe these coaches may agree after halftime that this is going to run the whole second half. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We got number 30 checking in here for Charles Henderson. Well, that's going to be uh, Nala Baker. Nala Baker. Oh, and number 12. That's going to be Tanner Moore. 
Trojans with another basket. First time being in this facility here at Baltimore County, it is a nice gym. It is a nice gym. Trojan, it is a nice gym. Trojans and with another steal. And going to be a cherry picker. And an offensive rebound a for, for Milton. Tatiana with a basket. So 38 to 3. Uh, number 30 has the ball, and it'll be stolen. Nope, she's going to get it back. Tipped off there by number 10, and number 10 will grab it for Charles Henderson. Another That's going to be Milton. She's going to take it all the way. There was a foul there, but not called. Tatiana with another basket. That's just the ref in you saying there's a foul there, but not called. Uh, you there can't. Was a, there was a block, but, you know, <laughs> you hold the whistle when you have a 37-point lead. That's right. That's right. And uh, Just under three and a half minutes left here until Oh, a little spin time. move there. A little spin. A little spin move. Maybe the three-pointer. The Jaguars are She's got. Oh, Oh, <laughs> there's a basket. I like it. Five to 40 now. Tiana Rogers with a basket for the Jaguars. A little half step move there. Got her uh, open finally. And so with three minutes left in the second, uh, we have a timeout called. Let's stay here with them. Yeah, we're going to stay here with them. Gonna be Trojans ball. That's right. Three minutes left in the second quarter. And that's gonna be Tanner inbounding the ball, and they throw it all the way down court for another two pointer. And stolen again by Charles. Oh well, they're gonna they're gonna keep it here after it goes off number 10's foot. Loose ball. There's just no success in getting that ball. No. <laughs> in the paint, she tries to take the baseline, but it wasn't there. And four Trojan members were covering her there in the paint. They're not gonna give these girls any easy baskets. Not at all. I mean, it, it just with, with the Jaguars moving the ball around the perimeter. I mean, it looks like there are six Ooh, or seven oh. Trojans. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Inside. It I really mean, does. Just nowhere to go. And a uh, layup there. <laughs> and it's completely opposite at the other end of the court. Exactly. I mean, Trojans have, have spent majority of the time on offense inside the paint. Jaguars continuing to move the ball around the perimeter. There's a three that oh, went almost. out. They get the offensive board and not a good shot taken and finally get one up and another offensive board. A deflected ball by the Trojans. She's caught in the corner. Official's going to call a foul on the floor. That's going to be on Samaria Moore who came in for Davenport, who is sitting on the bench the entire second quarter. And we can contribute this Trojan lead to her performance of That's the first right. quarter. That's right. Which is more than most players usually do in an entire game. Yeah, she's been on point. And Charles Anderson tries to steal. Oh, and gets blocked as she tries to drive the lane. Jaguars ball on the baseline. And Charles Henderson has the ball, and the Trojans will drive all the way down 
for another two-pointer. Ten or more with another basket. I can call that before we even hit the basket because they've ran that same exact play all game, and it's been it's been working for them. There's there's no other other way to say it. It's been working for them. Oh, almost block shot. Yeah, block shot, but a great pass on the inside. <laughs> And this is what I love about high school, high school sports. You know, she's they're, they're all laughing on the court together. They're just having fun. You know, this this is a contest, of course, and everyone's taking it seriously. But uh, you know, the, 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 these are kids, and a lot of people forget that they're just having fun at an after-school event. It is, it is. It's a lot of fun. And a three, almost another three, and another drive, but it will be blocked. So the Jaguars and with no time left, that will end the second quarter. And it's going to take us to halftime. That's right. Here at Barber County High School in Clayton, Alabama. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be back for the second half of Charles Henderson Trojans versus the Barber County High School Jaguars. Merry Christmas from Wally Sanders Truck Line, Stephen Sanders Truck Line, Walsh Gym, and Trojan Detail. This is our yearly Christmas ride. We have all these toys. We need more toys. We want you to bring your toys by. We want to thank Bristol Cockwood Trucking. We want to thank Matthews Trucking. Most of all, we want to thank you for making this toy drive what it is. Let's load this trailer, kids. See Millie Johnson, the president of this toy drive. Merry Christmas! Hook's Barbecue, down home barbecue in a counter serve setting, located on Emma Drive off of Highway 231 in Troy, Alabama. It's the 10,000 and under 10 set going on now at Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Y'all doing it big. That's right, the 10 is up and the vehicles are marked down. Over 75 fresh quality vehicles, all marked down under $10,000. What'd you say? All marked down under $10,000. And they all got to go. Payments as low as $99 a month. Got credit, no credit, no problem. You can drive. Christmas from Wally Sanders Truck Line, Stephen Sanders Truck Line, Walsh Gym, and Trojan Detail. This is our yearly Christmas ride. We have all these toys. We need more toys. We want you to bring your toys by. We want to thank Bristol Cockwood Trucking. We want to thank Matthews Trucking. Most of all, we want to thank you for making this toy drive what it is. Let's load this trailer, kids. See Millie Johnson, the president of this toy drive. Merry Christmas! Hook's Barbecue, down home barbecue in a counter serve setting, located on Emma Drive off of Highway 231 in Troy, Alabama. Oh, it's a 10,000 and under 10 cents. Don't miss it. Preston Steak and Grill in Troy serves quality food cooked over a wood fire grill. We'll call us for any event you may need to cater at 334-770-0675. We're located at 1647 U.S. 231 in Troy, Alabama.
Christmas from Wally Sanders Truck Line, Stephen Sanders Truck Line, Walt's Gym, and Trojan Detail. This is our yearly Christmas ride. We have all these toys. We need more toys. We want you to bring your toys by. We want to thank Bristol Cockwood Trucking. We want to thank Matthews Trucking. Most of all, we want to thank you for making this toy drive what it is. Let's load this trailer, kids. See Millie Johnson, the president of this toy drive. Merry Hooks Barbecue, down home barbecue in a counter serve setting, located on Emma Drive off of Highway 231 in Troy, Alabama. It's the 10,000 and under 10 set going on now at Premier Chrysler Dodge Cheap Ram. Y'all doing it big. That's right, the 10 is up and the vehicles are marked down. Over 75 fresh quality vehicles, all marked down under $10,000. What'd you say? All marked down under $10,000. And they all got to go. Payments as low as $99 a month. Got credit, no credit, no problem. You can drive today. Hurry to Premier Chrysler Dodge Cheap Ram or check us out at PremierTroy.com. Nobody beats a Premier deal. Nobody. It's the 10,000 and under 10 set. Don't miss it. Preston Steak and Grill in Troy serves quality food cooked over a wood fire grill. We'll call us for any event you may need catered at 334-770-0675. We're located at 1647 US 231 in Troy, Alabama. Christmas from Wally Sanders Truck Line, Stephen Sanders Truck Line, Walt's Gym, and Trojan Detail. This is our yearly Christmas ride. We have all these toys. We need more toys. We want you to bring your toys by. We want to thank Bristol Cockwood Trucking. We want to thank Matthews Trucking. Most of all, we want to thank you for making this toy drive what it is. Let's load this trailer, kids. See Millie Johnson, the president of this toy drive. Merry Christmas! All right, and we're back here at Barber County High School. As the Jaguars are taking on the Charles Henderson Trojans. And we're going to start the second half with the Trojans with 46 and the Jaguars with five. It's going to be Trojan ball. Here's the start of the third quarter. Davenport passes it to the free throw line. We've got more and Davenport in the game together. Davenport's going to go get the rebound. And Going to miss the jump shot in the paint. Moore's going to miss the shot off the rebound. Jaguars 
finally get a shot close to the paint. Jones brings the ball in, back to her. And there's gonna be too many Trojans there trying to get the ball and it's gonna be Jaguar ball. And inbounding the ball right next to us, Brandon. We'll see the Jaguars take it. They, just, they get the ball inside, and there's just nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Absolutely nowhere to go. They save that one. She's, she's trapped in the corner. And Charles Henderson gets the ball. Story of the night. The Charles Henderson defense is just dominating this game. They are. They are. And it shows in the score. I want to thank everyone for watching us tonight. We had some technical difficulties earlier, but we are live on Facebook now. There's a three-pointer for the Trojans, and she drains it. Just a little more than six minutes left here in the third quarter, and the Trojans have a considerable lead over the Baltimore County Jaguars. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we would love to see a, a close game every time, but, you know, this Charles Henderson defense is just – Absolutely dominating this game. So they have. You know, what, have. what What can you do? We've like, had look, look at this play. Uh, you know, she gets the, the rebound. She goes all the way down the court, and she makes three shots before the Jaguars, before the Jaguars, Jaguars the get the ball. Exactly, you know, so. We've had some good games here at Wildgrass Sports we this have. season. We uh, have, yeah. Pike County Charles Henderson game. If you missed that in, in Brundage, uh, that was a great, great game. Awesome Close game. game. Close game. Uh, we had a good game the other night at Pike Live. We did. We did, we did. Uh, we'll be back in Brundage Thursday night. Be sure to tune in as the Pike County Bulldogs will take on Geneva County High School there in Brundage, Alabama. And number 32, we're going to get a foul here on number 33. That's going to be Miss Lowry. Wadika Lowry. It's going to be on Brianna Carter. Marissa Rogers is at the line shooting for the Jaguars. She's going to miss the first free throw. I'm a firm believer that free throws win games, but Spencer, I'd have to tell you, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a little hard when you're in a 44-point deficit. Yeah, I'm not sure how they're going to dig themselves out of this one. Just under five minutes left here to play in the third quarter. And drains it. Trojans bring the ball down, get it, try to get it in the paint, but the Jaguars are going to come up with a steal. And there's some defense by the Jaguars. And let's see if she has the handle. And she does. She's going to try to drive it all the way. Lost the ball, so it will be Charles Henderson ball. Just trying to get something going here, and who can blame her? And number 33 passes it. Uh, Davenport was fouled on that rebound. There was no whistle there. Uh, again, that's the ref and Brandon. It's going to be Jaguar ball. With 421 remaining here in uh, the third quarter, uh, we're going to see uh, Jaguars drive the ball down and See if they can get somebody going here. Trojans still pressing half court. They're in a man-to-man -man now. And I don't think that's going to change at all. 
the entire and game. Steal and it's past and look, Devonport. three Trojans back before. <laughs> she tried, pitcher. She gave it a I, shot. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a foul on the play. I told you she, she was going to dunk she one. Tried. I told you. That's, she was she very it, close. She gave it her best effort. <laughs> Makia Milton's going to go to the line oh, for two oh shots. Oh, my gosh. She wanted it bad, I could see. She wanted it. She misses the first one. We're going to have a substitution for the Jaguars. Man, I would have loved to have seen that. <laughs> I absolutely loved to have seen that. It's going to be 44 and 14. It's going to be Cunningham and Parnell come in for the Jaguars. I mean, the crowd still hasn't calmed down from they that. Haven't. They they're, haven't. They're they're super excited about it. I mean, hearing the crowd here, you would think she would have made it. <laughs> We're going to have more substitutions for the Jaguars. It's going to be number 50, Precious Rump, come in. Jaguars inbound the ball on the baseline. And number 10 has a shot open. Milton's She'll take it in for three. Milton drains the three. Nails it. So 53 to six. And a steal by the Trojans here. <laughs> Milton with the ball to Jones. To Going back to the dunk, we can we can hear the crowd where we're sitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can hear well she's like twelve foot tall. <laughs> and she she is very tall. But that still would have been impressive. Could, could you dunk in your glory days, Brandon? No. No? Never. Not even. Never. Oh, she's gonna do! Oh, she, uh, she thought about it again. It's still on her mind. It's still on her mind. The basket. <laughs> <laughs> so 55 to six now with 2:45 remaining, and uh, this has been a quite quite a game to call with number 14 for Charles Henderson checking in. Well, we have three. We have four players. Number 30 and number 34. Number 30 and number 34, and I can't see the other one. So we have a, a, a full line change for the Charles Henderson. Davenport wanted to take the three. But she hands it off and an offensive rebound, but she'll lose the ball. Yeah, more with the turnover there after that rebound for the Trojans. Jaguars not sure what to do with the ball here. But they got help with number 22, and they lose the handle in the corner. So a full line change here for Charles Henderson, only leaving one player that was on the court in. We're going to run the clock. It's uh, still running. It I'm is. not sure if that's because of the lead or. No, they, they, stopped, they stopped it that finally. So, stop. so it's at 150. So a minute and 50 seconds now. And we hope you're enjoying this game. Uh, directly after this one, you know, Varsity Boys will be playing. Uh, and there'll be a 10-minute intermission between the games. So stay right here with us as we bring you a live basketball here from Barber County. And Charles Henderson is going to bring it in. Driving the lane. Nala Baker with a miss. Jaguars are going to get the rebound. And a steal. steal for the Trojans. And, she oh, loses but she it. loses she lost, the handle. Yeah, she lost her footing and couldn't hold on to the basketball. I mean, it, it's it's like they just fight for every shot they get. I mean, it's they're hungry. It's gonna be Reese Moore bringing the ball up and loses the ball there. She's going to be called with a foul as the Jaguars were trying to pressure a little bit. Going to be inbounding the ball right here next to us. 
with 46 seconds left. Trojans with another rebound. They're moving the ball around the perimeter. And 18 and seconds left. Jump shot and from the free throw is good. Nails it. Tatiana with the jumper. And I can't really pick up anything bad Charles Henderson has done tonight. I mean, uh, honestly, I'm trying to pick up their game a little bit, and I, I don't think I can. You know, they've, they've still had some turnovers, but, you know, without the Jaguars capitalizing on those, yeah. I, I don't see a chance. I don't either. I don't see a chance. And that's going to be the end of the third period here as the Charles Henderson Trojans are leading the Barber County Jaguars 57-8. to eight. That's right. So we're going to go to break real quick. We'll be right back. Preston's Steak and Grill in Troy serves quality food cooked over a wood fire grill. We'll call us for any event you may need to cater at 334-770-0675. We're located at 1647 US-231 in Troy, Alabama. back here at Barber County High School. And in the fourth quarter, it's 57 to eight. It looks like Charles Henderson has substituted mm -hmm. completely. I think this is their, uh, their second string. Or third at this point in the game. <laughs> well, I mean, as many players as they have on their team. Almost some points there for the Jags. And another offensive rebound. This will be the fourth attempt at some points scored. And we're going to see a shot. Is that going to be a three? That's going to be a three-pointer for the Jags. So, so far, the Jags' points have been two three-pointers. Reese Moore with a shot there. Jaguars with the ball in the corner. Just looking for anything here. And well, they're going to get a foul. Tatiana's going to be whistled for the foul. He's going to send the Jaguars to the line for two shots. Hey, hey, hey. He misses and the first no one. No points there. Donna Rogers is going to come in the game for the Jaguars. She's going to miss the second one. Trojans bring the ball down. And tries to steal it there, but can't. And so the Trojans will 
try and work something out here. She'll take the shot and almost good for two. Rims out, rebound by the Jaguars. Rogers bringing the ball down. She's going to pass it off. That was a rainbow shot. That, that was a rainbow off. shot. Just under five minutes here. Trojans for three. She's going to get her own rebound. and They're going to say the ball stays here for the Trojans. According to regulation, the clock should run here the fourth quarter nonstop. Trojans moving the ball. Looking for an open and shot. Great three-pointer there. She oh, two, 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 two. The official's going to call it two. I believe uh, a foot might have been on the line. I didn't see a foot on the line. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and say and, uh, it. She stepped into it. That's one thing you have to watch in, a, in uh, girls' basketball is – a lot of them like to take a step as they shoot. Jaguars just having a problem handling the ball, and that one got away from them. Going to be called for backcourt there. Just under four minutes left here in the fourth period. Tatiana with a jumper that rims in for two more points for the Trojans. And another steal, but it'll be, oh, they're gonna give it to Charles Anderson. Uh, I saw a tip there, I didn't, I don't know why they gave it to him. And the clock is still running, Brandon. So they they are they are following that rule. Uh, current score is 61 to 11. Jaguars move. Uh, Trojans move the ball around. She takes a three pointer. Gonna rim out, Davenport with the rebound. He turns around and makes the basket. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 80%. Uh, I have to say first quarter was, I'd have to say the Davenport show for the Trojans. That's right, that's right. And it's not like, you know, she she, she, she hasn't done anything the last three quarters either. And, I mean, it, it, it started out with a hefty lead and, and it's been that way from the start of the game. I'd be shocked if someone wasn't. I don't know what, what is she a senior? Do we have? Do we have a? Let's see, where's Davenport? She's a junior. She's a junior. I wonder what school. If if you're watching right now and you're with a school, a college, you need to be looking at Davenport for you sure. Definitely do. Definitely, definitely need to be looking at her. I believe that is a very true statement in saying that she will probably play D1. Absolutely. In Absolutely. So if you're watching that Duke right now. There's another steal. Another by the steal. Trojans. I know you were wanting to throw it out. Oh, let's see it. She's going to take the three pointer. And <laughs> she's not going to hit anything there. And. Wow, what That's a walk. A crazy that was, walk. That was missed by the officials there. Man. But, you know, this this, this kind of lead, you kind of put the whistle. whistle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we lied. 15 black. Uh, there's a, there's a whistle there. You, you, you still have to take safety into consideration. <laughs> Anything blatant at this point. Yeah, well, with but 43 seconds left, this is going to shut the door. The game here because the clock is going to still run as he, even through the foul shots. Even through the wow. foul shots. That uh, that takes a minute at least off. Uh, that's one of the definitions called a mercy rule. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're trying to have. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With a 52-point lead. For sure. We may get an inbound here, or a rebound. 
15 seconds left, and about 20 seconds left here. Trojans are going to put more points on One the board. One-handed. Oh, she missed the shot. She did. They're going to call it Jaguar ball, but that is going to be the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. As a final of 63 to 11, as the Charles Henderson Trojans have defeated the Lady Jaguars of Barber County. We want to uh, thank you for watching uh, Lady Varsity Basketball here live from Clayton, Alabama at Barber County High School. Well, that's right, and we are super excited to be on the road today. Uh, we just uh, uh, we we are excited for Charles Henderson girls team. You know they went to uh, uh, the states. Uh, last year and uh, you know they are uh, pretty much uh, supposed to go this year too. They are state champion runners up of last year. And with 63-11 lead, you know, uh, that, that's a that's a statement. That is. That is with the 63 to 11 final score. Uh, there was no doubt. None. Uh, they were ready to play basketball tonight. That's right. Um, if you're watching, let me encourage you to share. Call someone and tell them that Wiregrass Sports is live bringing you Varsity basketball tonight from Clayton, Alabama. And here come the Trojans on the floor for their game, which is in nine minutes. It's directly after this one. So stay with us here. We'll uh, we'll take a short break, and we'll be right back. Merry Christmas from Wally Sanders Truck Line, Stephen Sanders Truck Line, Walt's Gym, and Trojan Detail. This is our yearly Christmas ride. We have all these toys. We need more toys. We want you to bring your toys by. We want to thank Bristol Cockwood Trucking. We want to thank Matthews Trucking. Most of all, we want to thank you for making this toy drive what it is. Let's load this trailer, kids. See Millie Johnson, the president of this toy drive. Merry Christmas! Hook's Barbecue, down home barbecue in a counter serve setting, located on Emma Drive off of Highway 231 in Troy, Alabama. It's the 10,000 and under 10 set going on now at Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Y'all doing it big. That's right, the 10 is up and the vehicles are marked down. Over 75 fresh quality vehicles, all marked down under $10,000. What'd you say? All marked down under $10,000. And they all got to go. Payments as low as $99 a month. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. You can drive today. Hurry to Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or check us out at PremierTroy.com. Nobody beats a Premier deal. No, but it's the 10,000 and under 10 set. Don't miss it. Preston Steak and Grill in Troy serves quality food cooked over a wood fire grill. Call us for any event you may need catered at 334-770-0675. We're located at 1647 US 231 in Troy, Alabama. Test one two. Test one two. Test one two one two. Test one two. Test one two. Test one two.
Merry Christmas from Wally Sanders Truck Line, Stephen Sanders Truck Line, Walsh Gym, and Trojan Detail. This is our yearly Christmas ride. We have all these toys. We need more toys. We want you to bring your toys by. We want to and we're back here with uh, the coach of the Charles Anderson Trojans is Brandon Adams. We're here with Coach Shelby Tuck. How do you, what do you contribute to the season, the success you had so far? Uh, we've been playing fine. Guys are playing really hard. I'm proud of them. Um, we dropped some close ones, and I'm um, looking forward to just regain and get the guys in and play with a lot of composure, take care of the basketball. I know we had a close one at Pike County down in Brundage. We were there covering that game. Very close game. Is there any guys you want to contribute to that's outstanding, that's you know stood out to you this year so far? I think all of them. We're, we're a team. We're going to win as a team. We're going to ride or die together. So, I mean, it's all 15 guys together working hard. And that's what it's about in basketball is, is you play as one. You play as one. Thank you, Coach. We look forward to this game. Yeah. And we're here in Clayton, Alabama. We're live bringing you varsity boys basketball game, Barber County High School Jaguars versus the Charles Henderson Trojans. And we'll be right back for tip-off. Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate it. Most of all, we want to thank you for making this chore drive what it is. Let's load this trailer, kids. See Millie Johnson, the president of this chore drive. Merry Hooks Barbecue, down home barbecue in a counter serve setting. Located on Emma Drive off of Highway 231 in Troy, Alabama. It's the 10,000 and under 10 set going on now at Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Y'all doing it big. That's right. The 10 is up and the vehicles are marked down. Over 75 fresh quality vehicles. All marked down under $10,000. What'd you say? All marked down under $10,000. And they all got to go. Payments as low as $99 a month. Got credit? No credit? No problem. You can drive today. Hurry to Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Or check us out at PremierTroy.com. Nobody beats a Premier deal. Nobody. It's the 10,000 and under 10 set. Don't miss it. Preston Steak and Grill in Troy serves quality food cooked over a wood-fired grill. We'll call us for any event you may need catered at 334-770-0675. We're located at 1647 US 231 in Troy, Alabama. We're back here for the contest between the Jaguars and the Charles Henderson Trojans. Uh, Brandon, what do you? Uh, what's your prediction for this game? We just watched the uh, Varsity Girls, um, and and it was a uh, uh, you know it was a it was a great game. We got to see a a, a lot from the Charles Henderson. Trojans, what do, what do you think about this game? I expect this game to be a close game. Uh, I do too. Once again, uh, Barber County is known for their basketball. Uh, out of the sports that uh, is played here, uh, they've been contenders for state titles before. Uh, you know, Charles Henderson generally has a strong basketball team. Uh, they you know they compete in their area anyway. That's uh, right. You know, year in and year out. So. You know, Coach Shelby Tuck has had some success, uh, especially this year so far. And uh, I'm interested to see some, some basketball being played tonight. Well, that's right. And with one minute and 15 seconds to go, that's exactly what we're going to see. Uh, that's when tip-off is going to happen. And, uh, you know, the, the the refs are sitting here talking to uh, uh, the clock operator and letting them know what's going on. And just uh, just in general getting ready. We, we see both coaches uh, up on their feet getting excited about this game. Uh, just like us, we're really excited to be here away from home. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, just just a pleasure to be here. Uh, just throw a little plug in. We'll be at Thursday. Where are we going to be, Brandon? We'll be in Brundage, Alabama as the Pike County Bulldogs take on Geneva County High School. Uh, live from Brundage, Alabama. Be sure to tune in about 5.30, 5.45 p.m. That's right. Uh, we will we'll carry once again the uh, 
varsity girls basketball game first and then the varsity boys. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, the Barber County cheerleaders are going to come here, and it looks like we're going to do a national anthem, so we'll go silent for just a second. Awesome. We're ready for some basketball That's here. That's right. I thought there were some fireworks going on there for a second. I'm not sure <laughs> what that was with that national anthem, but uh, there yeah. were definitely some sound effects in there. Uh, I'm not sure if you could hear it out there. I'm pretty sure that was uh, Whitney Houston on New Year's Eve uh, with the Times Square drop. <laughs> that, that would make sense. That is, that is probably one of the few times I've heard the national anthem played in Rocket's Red Glare, and you could hear them. You could hear them. That's right. Them. That's right. That's right. Uh, starting for the Trojans, we've got number two, Justin Hendricks. Number four, Kelshawn Campbell. Number 20, Keith Wheeler. Number 24, Jalen Tuck. And number 33, 32, Peyton Robinson. Starting for your Jaguars, number 10, Rondarius Warren. Number 12, Khalil Grubbs. Number 44, Dontavius Dixon. got numbers covered up so I didn't catch all of those. Number 24, 34, that's going to be Ralph Williams. Yeah, they're very small on the, uh, the, the front of the shirts there. They so are we, on we, their warm-ups. Yeah, are. we couldn't we couldn't quite catch those, but uh, here on the floor, it's number 12, number 22. Number 22. It's going to be Quamaine Oliver. I believe that's going to be the only one I miss. Okay. Well, we're going to see the tip-off right here. Our lead official tonight for this game is going to be uh, Sonny Cyphers. <laughs> Let's play basketball. As the Jaguars are going to gain first possession, so the arrow will go to the Trojans. And they're putting some pressure on here. And we've got an injury. Whistle, the official's going to blow the whistle. Uh, I think they thought he was hurt, but he wasn't. He just reached down. So we'll inbound the ball. And the Jaguars will go after it again. We got to pass all the way across the court. All the way. Trying to take that oh. baseline. He nearly walked, and the Trojans are going to come up with a turnover. So here we go. Justin Trojans Hendrick first brings run. It down. JT and it's a three. With a three. Jalen Tuck, 4-3. Good way to start out the offense here. It is. 
There he is. Oh, didn't see that pass coming for number 44. And they're going to have a three-point opportunity. Don't take it. And they'll pass it down to the base, but he's covered. He's going to draw the baseline. Oh, man, Jag these rebounds. Jaguars come up with the rebound. The Trojans gain it. Jalen Tuck's going to bring it down, throws it inside. Campbell's going to take the shot and not get the rebound. Jaguars are pushing it back. Trojans need to get back on defense. And Dontavious Dixon's going to lose the ball for the Jaguars. It's going to be Trojan ball going the other way. Justin Hendricks on the baseline to Jalen Tuck. And let's see some offense here as he thinks about taking the three. He will take the shot and almost good, but comes out of the rim. Jaguars will take it back. And tries to get a number 44, but he is triple teamed by the Trojans. Number 22 open for the shot. He'll take it and miss. Fighting for it under the basket. He gains it and comes up with the basket. All right, quick basket on the other end. Sean Campbell with the basket for the Trojans. And so number 12, Khalil Grubbs will uh, bring that in for the Jaguars. All and a three-pointer. Three. It comes off the glass and doesn't hit the rim, and we're going to get a foul. that's going to be a foul. Caught on Keith Wheeler of the Trojans. as He come over the back. That's going to send Willie Screws to the line. He's going to miss the first one. And in and out there. Kelshawn Campbell with the rebound for the Trojans. Jalen Tuck passing it to the corner back to Jalen Tuck. He's got two open. He's going to make his move, drive into the paint with a floater, and he's not going to get anything. I believe that was deflected. It was. It had to have been. And the official's going to call traveling. Kelshawn Campbell apparently picked up the ball too quick and took a few too many steps. Some substitutions here for Barber County. I want to take a moment and thank you for watching tonight here live on Wiregrass Sports. Please share and, and let everyone know that we are live tonight from Clayton, Alabama. Oh, he wanted the dunk, but number four for Charles Henderson. That's going to be Kelshawn Campbell got in his way, and an air ball directly after that oh. saves it. But can't come down with the rebound, and Trojans will go all the way to the other court Finish. and score. Finish. That was a good snowbird pass there by Jalen Tuck. Get the ball down the court to the open Trojan. Jaguars still trying to get that ball in the paint. Williams and with the finally. fake and drives to the basket and finishes. And a tip by number 21 on the full court press, but Charles Henderson takes it all the way. And they'll slow it down here. Not sure where to go with the ball. He has to put it on the floor for the five-second count. Jalen Tuck from the corner, 4-3. And all the way, if you sleep on either one of these offenses, you're going to get scored on. Trojans come up with a rebound. And they're pushing it. Jalen Tuck again with a floater, and he drains Nails it. Nails it. Two. So 12-4. Barber County's going to take a timeout here to try to change this momentum as the Trojans have come out this latter part of the first quarter and taken a 12-4 lead. This is going to be a 30-second timeout, so we'll stay here as the Trojans are attacking the boards. Definitely attacking. Definitely attacking both teams right now. Just a... Uh, uh 
uh, full court pressing, you know, trying to get their fast offenses going, and uh, it's really working out. It's an exciting fast game. It is. It is. We want to thank Barber County High School for hosting us tonight. And their hospitality in making this possible because this was not even thought of till late Friday afternoon when the no, game it wasn't. was rescheduled. And we are happy to be here. We are. And Jaguars moving the ball, driving in the lane. And Trojans are going to come up with the rebound. Jalen Tuck passes it over half court. They're going to lose it, and that's going to be a turnover for the Trojans. Oh, but he's going to try to steal it. Oh, but he's got it out of bounds. It's going to be Jaguar ball. Wanted to argue a little bit there, but didn't. Uh, but due to due to inclement weather Friday night, this game was moved to December 19th when we already have another game scheduled. So we uh, decided to come to Barber County tonight. And number to three for Charles Anderson checking in. Bring you the same matchup. There's a and steal. And a steal. Robinson with a steal for the Trojans, and he puts the brakes on, misses the basket, and Trojans are going to come up with the rebound. <sighs> Oh, a little, little push in there. there. <laughs> the refs are going to let him play let tonight. Him play basketball, yeah. Coach Tuck walks over and calls a play. Trojan set it up and he walked. Yeah, they're going to get him. They're going to get him. He, I'm not sure if the ball got caught between his legs or, or he mishandled it. And took too many steps, but he got caught. He did get caught. Trojans in a 2-3 defense here. And number 15 checking in for Charles Henderson. And a shot Jaguar there. Miss. Trojans with the board, and they're going to push it back down. And oh. He gets his own rebound. And, and scores. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, these yeah. offensive rebounds. That appeared to be 5-on-1. I believe it was. He gets his own rebound. 23, wide open for the three. Oh, oh they're going to call it a block. They're going to call it a block. I don't know. What What do you think about that? Uh, you know, if, if he hits the ball first, yeah. it, it's going to be a block. Oh, these refs are letting them play tonight. They are. They I are, mean, they, they're, they're, they are definitely letting them play. Oh, yeah, and that, that's when it gets ugly. Oh, there was a nice block. Trojans get it back. Tuck for three again. Jalen Tuck for three. I'm not sure what the whistle was for. Not at all, but both teams are fired up. It is, it is a, a good game. High intensity is An Trojans, understatement, really. Trojans currently <laughs> have a 13-point lead, but... I mean, the way these teams are playing, you would think that it's it's a two-point game, and we're in the closing of the fourth quarter. It really it really doesn't matter with the the way these these teams are playing. You know, the speed of this game right now, someone's going to have to crash. Jaguars finally get the ball into the paint, and it's loose, and the Trojans come up with it. Pick set there. Jalen Tuck passes it off. Three-pointer open. Shot. Air ball. Keith Wheeler didn't hit anything on that one. <laughs> Jaguars driving to the basket. And They're going to call that a hold on number 15 on Charles Henderson. And that's Javantris Allen. That'll be his first. It's going to be on the floor, floor so Jaguars are inbound on the ball on the baseline. <laughs> Jaguars with it at the top of the key. Dixon passes it off. Williams with a three, and it's good. Jalen Tuck with the ball. Justin Hendricks. 
Kobe Jones is in the game now for the Trojans. And another pick there. It's going to open him up. He's going to drive. Nowhere no shot goes. taken. Allen takes a shot. Uh, nothing there, and that's going to be the Jaguars' ball. And a pass there. See if the Jaguars can break William something loose Tunk here. Banks takes the jumper and he doesn't get it. Jalen Tuck with the rebound. And they're going to slow it down with 20 seconds left here. Probably try to leave one shot left in That's this right. first period. And uh, the Jaguars are not having any of that. They're going to press as hard as they can to try to get this ball back. And with have to put it on the floor. And it's going to be a tip. So it's going to be a Charles Henderson's ball with three seconds left. And we weren't fast enough to stop our clock. But Dylan a three. With a three and it rims <laughs> out, and that's going to be the end of the first period. And almost, almost got that offensive rebound and <laughs> got another shot up, but didn't. It was close. And Charles Henderson has got a 10 point lead currently as we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Hooks Barbecue, down home barbecue in a counter serve setting, located on Emma Drive off of Highway 231 in Troy, Alabama. It's the 10,000 and under 10 set going on now at Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Y'all doing it big. That's right. The 10 is up and the vehicles are marked down. Over 75 fresh quality vehicles. All marked down under $10,000. What'd you say? All marked down under $10,000. And they all got to go. Payments as low as $99 a month. Got credit? No credit? No problem. You can drive today. Hurry to Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Or check us out at PremierTroy.com. Nobody beats a Premier deal. No. It's a 10,000 and under 10 set. Don't miss it. Back. We're back here at Clay in Clayton, Alabama at Barber County High School. As the Trojans inbound the ball. They look for Allen in the lane, and he loses it. The official's going to call an offensive charge. He's going to call it on uh, Kobe Jones of the Trojans. He hit the floor. I'm not sure what happened, but apparently he must have pushed someone when he came back up. Apparently. Dixon with the ball. Passes it under the goal. Oh, and another foul. Justin Hendricks is going to be called with the foul. And uh, just looking at some of our comments here on Facebook, Brandon, I just wanted to go over some of them. Annie Henderson, she was talking about uh, uh, the girl from earlier, every D1 recruiting. Everybody's recruiting her I so far, sure. and I, I believe it. I am sure. We'll try to grab Davenport if we can here, maybe at halftime, and, and get an interview with her. That's right, for sure. And uh, Jennifer King, we'd love to come to Abbeville. Uh, we will uh, we'll look at the schedule and see if we can uh, uh, nail any games down and get with Abbeville High. If we def definitely, if we have another cancellation, we will look into that. Score there, 17-8. Jalen Tuck for three, and he didn't get that one in. He's called with a foul there. He's going to have a block as the Jaguars cross half court. I got it. The Trojans still in a 2-3 zone defense here. Oh, oh my goodness. Number 12, the pass to him. That was a vertical right there. Jaguars found a hole there. He did. He had to get up. The little grubs and Trojans are just gonna bring it back down. Shot wasn't in the paint. So Sean Campbell with the miss and the Jaguars are gonna rebound. And number 44 wide open for the easy two points, but it's gonna be a push. And it's gonna be on the floor there on the baseline. Peyton Robinson's gonna be called with the foul for the Trojans. 
Jaguars get it in, get it to Dixon. He's trying to post. Shot by Grubbs. Oh, second offensive rebound. And the Trojans are going to get it. For fast break and he's going to take it all the way. Oh. It. Good job by Kelshawn Campbell there to be there I, for the tap in. I think he could have dunk, dunked it. What do you, what do you think? It, it probably would have been close. Since he's about six inches above the rim. I don't know. Probably would have been close. Jaguars get it into Dixon, and he tries Ooh. to take it off the glass. <laughs> technical. They're going to call it technical on him. Clemaine Oliver came in and tried to get the, the, the is that alley a, is off that against, the rebound. Is that against the Alabama High School Association rules, or is dunking against? He cannot hold on to the rim. Cannot right. hold on yeah. to the rim. Yeah. Okay. So, so if he goes up to get it and he grabs the rim and pulls himself up, then it's a technical foul. I got you. Um. So the Trojans will shoot here. I, I believe that's going to be what it is. If you touch the goal, any part, backboard or rim, during an attempt like that, it it's also should be a technical foul. Um, you'll see on fast breaks a defender go up after the offensive player lays it in and slap the backboard. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That should also be a technical foul. I'm not sure if the official missed him actually having his hands on the ball for the, the alley-oop off the rebound. Or, or if it was because he pulled himself, I know he stayed there. Yeah, I for think him. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be because he pulled himself. Yeah, he, you he, know, he stayed there for a second and you know kind of lifted himself up. So that's I'm right. Not sure, that's what the technical was for. So number two inbounding for Charles Henderson. Justin Hendricks back to the top of the key, finds Robinson. Oh, misses there, but offensive rebound will be able to put it up, and they're going to let them play tonight. Kill Sean Campbell. He's crashing the boards. He's crashing the boards. <laughs> Jaguars almost mishandled the ball there. Getting it inside. And A big man's going to try to take it, but can't. Ralph Williams is going to drive to the basket. Come up empty handed. Oh, and a There's block a wow. there by the Jaguars. It's going to be Trojan ball. Coach Fryer down there telling his guys to, to play with your head, play with your head. And Spencer, this is a mental game. Definitely a mental game. One of the reasons I love basketball is, is you've only got five players out there. So that's right. You know, and that's going to be mishandled and a backcourt violation. Yeah, if he hadn't have touched it before it went back off the inbound, it wouldn't have been backcourt. But because he touched it, it is. Jaguars bring it back down, looking for another shot. Floater here, and it's going to be no good. He gets his own rebound and still misses, and Trojans come up with the rebound. It's going to be Jordan Dix on the rebound. And gets it down to McGee. Kelshawn Campbell steps on the line. Oh, it's going to be man. Jaguar ball on the baseline. That is a uh, – As Ron Darius Warren comes in for the Jaguars. Kelshawn has a fan in the stands here. Yes, he does. <laughs> She's directly behind us. Very excited. And that's going to be across the court again. That seems the only way they've gotten the ball over Oh, there. but, and hey, it worked that, that time, nice right? Nice move by Quamaine Oliver. Trojans are going to – he's trying to call a timeout. And, and he gets it. Coach Shelby Tuck gets the timeout. 30-second timeout, so let's stay here. Let's take a moment to uh, thank our sponsors. And let me encourage you, if, if you're a business or know of a business that's looking for uh, some advertisement opportunities, uh, here at Thomas & Thomas Media, we have some affordable options for you. As that's right, Brandon. After tonight, we have seven games left for the rest of the season. Correct. Um, so please contact us. You can visit us at www.thomasandthomasmedia.com. That's spelled out A-N-D, thomasandthomasmedia.com. You can find us on Facebook at Thomas and Thomas Media or Wiregrass Sports. We would love to help you promote your business. 
And inbounding the ball here, number two for the Trojans. It's going to be Justin Hendricks. Braxton McGee takes it, crosses midcourt. Oh. He's got huh? a little trouble there as he gets it off to Jalen Tuck. Jalen to Robinson, who's going to try to drive in the lane with the shot. And going, going to go off the rim. There. Oh. Robinson gets his rebound to Campbell. And Campbell still. has nowhere to go back to Jalen. Sean Campbell out to Robinson. And the official's going to have three seconds on the lane, in the lane, and it's going to be Jaguar ball. And Jaguars here, number 22. Open for the three. He'll take it off the backboard, but they get the rebound with a two-pointer with no call. So they'll get those two points there, 15 to 22, with three and a half minutes left here in the second quarter. Justin Hendricks with the ball at the top of the key for the Trojans. And, and a steal by the Jaguars. He's going to take it all the way and, and miss the layup. Is, Lord have mercy. Man, that is disappointing. You know if you're a coach right now, you're on fire. No charge called. He didn't have his feet planted. And the Charles Henderson Trojans will get two points off that jump shot. No whistle there by the officials. <laughs> Bounces in there for the Jaguars. Ralph Williams with a nice drive to the basket there for the Jaguars. Justin Hendricks looking for an open man. A little trouble here. And it's stolen by the Jaguars. They're going to come up with the ball. Hey, they're on a little run here. This is the closest the game's been thus far. Yeah. Since they, they have a 10-point lead. That's going to be Ralph Williams again driving to the basket. Down the baseline, and Jalen Tuck is going to go up for the layup, and he's going to be fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. And number 34 was pointing yeah, himself. That's going to be Ralph Williams. Yeah, he 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 knew he did it. Uh, he went on a two-zero run here for the Jaguars, so it it, it it gets you going. That's right. He come back playing a little too aggressive on defense and draws the foul. And Jalen misses the first free throw. He's going to have some substitutions here for the Trojans. Kobe Jones is going to come back in. And Keith Wheeler. Yes. One more shot here from Jalen, and he's going to train he's hit it. 25-19 now with two minutes left to go. They're going to get the ball back to Williams. Oh, that's going to be. He walked. And the Jaguars are going to try to put some pressure here, full court press on this Trojan offense. And they're going to come right through it. Campbell with the ball, hands it off to Jalen. And Jalen throws it. We almost had a souvenir. <laughs> we almost did. <laughs> Kobe Jones had, had just, just cut to the basket when uh, Jalen passed the ball. And I wanted to apologize to him and tell him I couldn't play. Thank you for passing me the ball, but I can't play. <laughs> There's a three-pointer by the Jaguars. And it's, it's going to stay here. It is. It's going to be off the Trojans. That's going to be off Kelshawn Campbell. Not happy about that. Oh, a little, little floater pass there. And he'll be open for the three and hits it. Jarius Williams for three for the Jaguars. The Trojans. Oh, going to oh. get something there. He's going to push off, and it's going to be Jaguar ball. So 22-25, they have eliminated the 11-point deficit that they had. Now Kobe, down to three. Kobe Jones gets called for the offensive foul. And depending on what the Jaguars do here, this may be a, a good opportunity for a timeout before they take the lead going into halftime. And a tip, but they'll keep possession. 
and start the play over. This is exactly what I was hoping for here, Spencer. Absolutely. A minute left till halftime, and we've got us a basketball game. And Absolutely. Jaguars are looking to put some more points on the board. And, and, and just so our viewers know, Brandon, uh, you were a ref. Uh, for how, how long were you a ref? Two point uh, scored by Charles Anderson. For about six years with Alabama High School Athletic Association. Six and, years. And I'll tell you what, that was a good move by Keith Miller driving in the lane there. And there is no shot clock in this league, is that correct? There is no shot clock. There is a five second call if you are being closely guarded. Oh. You, have to put the, you have to do something with the ball, and there's going to be a foul. And one. Basket counts, and we're going to have an and one. Uh, the score operator needs to change it. There it is. No. Took him a minute. Yeah, the foul's going to be called on Kelshawn Campbell of the Trojans. That's going to send Ralph Williams to the line. And, oh, that <laughs> he was very he's, close. He's going to miss the and one. Keith Wheeler with the ball to Robinson. Oh, tip up there. He gets it to Kobe Jones, comes up with it. Jalen Tuck. Oh, for the basket. they're going to whistle. Oh, it's going to oh, be a yeah, charge. He's going to call it off. He's going to call it off. I didn't hear the whistle. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Jalen Tuck's going to be called for the offensive charge. And we have 12 seconds left here with a three point deficit. If they hit this three, they can go in halftime here tied. Oh, he but he walks. He walks. He walks. He walks. He's had a problem shuffling his feet all night. That's not the first time he's been called for that. And just like that. And it, it, it's one of those things as an official, you see it the first time. If you blow your whistle the first time, you're going to see it every time, and, and that whistle's just going to naturally go off. Yep, that's right. It's something he's going to have to be conscious of the rest of this game. And they're going to foul him there. Vajarius Williams is going to be called for the foul on Jalen Tuck. It's going to be on the floor, so it's going to be Trojan ball right here where it was inbounded at the point of interruption. And it's going to be out of Still. bounds on the Jaguars. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad it touched again. the clock that time. Shot there. And it's going to be no good to send us to halftime. As Charles Henderson Trojans lead 27 to 24, we're going to take a break from our sponsors here at halftime, and we'll be back to Clayton, Alabama, as Wiregrass Sports is live. Preston Steak and Grill in Troy serves quality food cooked over a wood fire grill. Call us for any event you may need catered at 334-770-0675. We're located at 1647 US 231 in Troy, Alabama. Sanders Truck Line, Stephen Sanders Truck Line, Walt's Gym, and Trojan Detail. This is our yearly Christmas ride. We have all these toys. We need more toys. We want you to bring your toys by. We want to thank Bristol Cockwood Trucking. We want to thank Matthews Trucking. Most of all, we want to thank you for making this toy drive what it is. Let's load this trailer, kids. See Millie Johnson, the president of this toy drive. 
Hooks Barbecue down. We're live and we're back here with Maury Davenport of the Trojans. Uh, great game tonight. You had an outstanding first quarter. Thank you. Uh, um, yes, ma'am. And uh, you had a great season last year. I mean, uh, you know, as, as, a, as a sophomore in high school, I don't think you could have asked for a better season than you had last year. Yeah. Uh, you know, going all the way to the state championship game, I know you fell to Winona. That was a tough loss. It was hard to swallow. Very close fault game. Uh, tell us a little bit about your offseason. What did you do this offseason to prepare for this season? Um, I just play a lot of basketball year-round. So. Just You don't put it down. You keep it in your hands. Uh, you're very sought out. I'm sure you, you've been contacted by some colleges already um, yes, sir. in your junior year. Is there any thoughts you have to that? Um, I just think I'm very blessed to have the opportunity that I have to go to a school because a lot of kids don't have that opportunity. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, I would say you're definitely blessed with talent. And it shows every time you take the court and you pick up the ball. Um, you know, is there anything you're looking forward to this season? A state championship. <laughs> I agree. I'm sure there's a sour taste in your mouth after what you were with, left with last year. Yeah. Going all the way through the playoffs, making it to the state championship game, and just coming up as, as, as short as you did because it was a hard-fought close game. Uh, we're looking forward to it this year and, and would like to see you go all the way and bring one back to Troy to the Charles Henderson Trojans. I want to thank you for the interview tonight and uh, good luck on the rest of the season. All right. Thank you, Ms. Davenport. And barbecue in a counter serve setting located on Emma Drive off of Highway 231 in Troy, Alabama. Going on now at Premier Chrysler Dodge Cheap Ram. Y'all doing it big. That's right. The 10 is up and the vehicles are marked down. Over 75 fresh quality vehicles. All marked down under $10,000. What'd you say? All marked down under $10,000. And they all got to go. Payments as low as $99 a month. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. You can drive today. Hurry to Premier Chrysler Dodge Cheap Ram. Or check us out at PremierTroy.com. Nobody beats a Premier deal. No, but it's a 10000 and under 10 cents. Don't miss it. Preston Steak and Grill in Troy serves quality food cooked over a wood fire grill. We'll call us for any event you may need catered at 334-770-0675. We're located at 1647 US Christmas from Wally Sanders Truck Line, Stephen Sanders Truck Line, Walsh Gym, and Trojan Detail. This is our yearly Christmas ride. We have all these toys. We need more toys. We want you to bring your toys by. We want to thank Bristol Cockwood Trucking. We want to thank Matthews Trucking. Most of all, we want to thank you for making this toy drive what it is. Let's load this trailer, kids. See Millie Johnson, the president of this toy drive. Hooks Barbecue, down home barbecue in a counter serve setting, located on Emma Drive off of Highway 231 in Troy, Alabama. It's the 10,000 and under 10 cents going on now at Premier Chrysler Dodge Cheap Ram. Y'all doing it big. 
big. That's right. The tent is up and the vehicles are marked down. Over 75 fresh quality vehicles. All marked down under $10,000. What'd you say? All marked down under $10,000. And they all got to go. Payments as low as $99 a month. Got credit? No credit? No problem. You can drive today. Hurry to Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Or check us out at PremierTroy.com. Nobody beats a Premier deal. No! But it's a 10000 and under 10 cents. Don't miss it. Preston Steak and Grill in Troy serves quality food cooked over a wood fire grill. We'll call us for any event you may need catered at 334-770-0675. We're located at 1647 US 231 in Troy, Alabama. And we're back here with one and a half minutes left in this uh, intermission period. We're trying to get a interview here with Coach, and it looks like Brandon has finally got him. So Brandon, we're gonna uh, go to Brandon on the on the floor. Hey, here with Coach Fryer, Barber County High School. Close game. I mean, you can't ask for much more. Going down three points in the halftime. What's your plan for second half to come back out and bring the momentum? You gained it. At the end of the first quarter, you gained a little momentum. How do you keep that going in the second half? Just uh, at halftime, just talked about got to hustle. They out hustled in the first half, but I think second half we just got to come out and play hard and out hustle them. That's, that's the bottom line. We, we got to hustle the first half, but I think we'll do better in the second half. Thank you, Coach Pryor. Good luck second half. Live here at Barber County High School, going to go back over to Spencer as we start the second half of this game. Thank you, Brandon. And uh, that was uh, the interview here. With the coaches, we have 38 seconds left. The score is 27 to 24, and we are in the third now. And just about 25 seconds to go. As Charles Henderson sits here and talks about, they had an 11-point lead at one point in the game, and uh, the Jaguars have now taken that down to three points. So they definitely answered Charles Henderson. And Brandon, welcome back. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that was a long walk. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. I want to thank our viewers for watching tonight. And definitely. Uh, here at Wiregrass Sports, we are live in Clayton, Alabama. As we bring you local high school sports from southeast Alabama. Jaguars inbound the ball. That's going to give possession arrow to the Trojans now. As they look like they've got a half-court press on. And double team. We saw that in the girls' game earlier. They finally find Dixon under the basket. He's going to bring it within one. And I'm sure, oh, Charles Anderson, triple team now. It's going to be a jump ball. And it's going to be Trojan ball. Uh, now, if they come out and play that for the next two quarters, I tell you what, Charles Henderson is going to have their hands full here. He is to get the momentum rolling for either team. That's to right. Start this second half. As you heard Coach Pryor say, he felt they got out-hustled that first half. Yep. They went on a little run, and, and, and Jaguars with a steal. And you can tell that's what happened in the locker room there. They're going to get a – It's going to be a block, block on the Trojans. That's going to send Jaguars to the line. As Oliver came up with that steal, and drew the foul. Let's see if he can capitalize off of it with these free throws. And Spencer, this time of the game is when I was talking about free throws wins you ball games. That, that's, makes, a, that's absolutely true. He makes the first one, which ties up the game. The other free throw could put him in the lead. And, and for does. the first time, the Jaguars lead Charles Emerson here. They do. The Jaguars are on top at the moment. A little over seven minutes left in third period. Kelshawn Campbell with the ball, nowhere to go with it. 
official was counting there. He was three pointer. And out. Jaguars going to come up with the rebound as they push it back down. This looks similar to what the Trojans were doing, constantly pushing the ball. As soon as it was rebounded, it was going the other way. And oh, Jaguars tips by the Charles Henderson Trojans there, and he's going to make an easy layup. And it's going to be Rondarius Warren for the Jaguars. So 30 to 27 now here. And if the Trojans don't put any points up here, I see Shelby Tuck taking a oh. foul out. Man, he's in gonna, and out there. He's going to have to stop this momentum of these Jaguars. He's got to. On this basket, I see a timeout coming on this basket. Next dead ball. Yep, they get the rebound, and Jaguars And another get one. He takes a timeout. There it is. Yeah, there he, it is. He had he, to stop it. You've got to stop this momentum. I mean, you know, that, that's a tool. And that this, is a tool of basketball. To and this is this the moment. first first time that we've really had this gym alive. It is. The Jaguar fans, I believe, are starting to get into it, you know, while they take the lead. Um, you know, Trojans are scoreless after halftime. Right. We've had a minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter, and the Trojans have failed to put points on the board. Yeah, I don't know what the Jaguars coach said in uh, uh, the locker room there, but it fired them up. <laughs> yeah, he, he told us that he talked to them you know, and told them <laughs> that they needed to hustle, and That's apparently right. it worked because they've come out hustling. That's right. Full court press on by the Jaguars now. And, and the open man. Through it. Kale Sean Campbell with the ball. And gives it back up to Keith Wheeler. Jalen looking in the lane, dishes it off back to Wheeler at the top of the key. The Jaguars are in a man defense now, man to man completely. Robinson to Tuck in the corner, comes back up to Kobe Jones. He better put it on the floor because the official is counting. Official's gonna catch. Jaguar with the hand check. That's going to go on Willis Cruz. We've got a player tying the shoe here. Equipment failure. Equipment failure. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as close as you're ever going to get right Trojans there. Inbounded to oh! He loses it, and it's going to be Jaguar Miss ball. Handles. That is an, un an unfortunate turnover there. Jaguars looking for something to do with the ball. And there's that half court pressure there. As oh. Robinson comes up with the rebound for the Trojans. So the Jaguars finally slowing down a little bit here. And passes it oh. back to Robinson. And it's going to be deflected by the Jaguars. And we'll stay here. Trojan basketball on the baseline. It's going to be deflected in the inbound. Jaguars bring it down. And a shot. Oh. Jalen tries to deflect the rebound, but the Jaguars come up with it for the basket. So 34 to 27 now. This game has taken a total 180. As Clemaine Oliver gets the basket for the Jaguars. And the Trojans are still scoreless here. As they're going to go to the line for two shots. As Kobe Jones drove to the lane and was fouled. <laughs> Willie Screws of the Jaguars was called for that foul. Let's see if the Trojans can finally put some points up in this period. I hope so. Misses that one. And there's one there. Open for the three, pump fakes. Finds his man in the corner. They're gonna slow it down here. Way too high, but that vertical. He'll kill you with that vertical. Three-pointer, misses it. 
Charles Henderson now gets the ball. Tries that full court press again, but will get past it. And they're going to give it to the big man down low, and he's going to hit it for two. That's going to put the Trojans on the board. Yeah, bring it to four-point deficit now. Can't see from where I am what happened there. Uh, he uh, he set a pick, but he was awfully uh, he was moving a little bit there. Jalen Tuck with a snowbird pass there, and he's going to come back out with it. Over to Wheeler, who brings it to Robinson, back to kill Sean Campbell down low, and nowhere to go. Robinson's going to drive and a jump off shot. To Campbell, and nothing there. Robinson with the rebound, kicks it out to Kobe Jones. To Wheeler in the corner for three for the Trojans, and nothing there. Official's going to say Trojan ball. As the Jaguars are going to substitute here. Trojans inbound the ball. Good Jones inbound. Kobe Jones to Wheeler. Wheeler into Robinson, back to Wheeler, who's going to drive the baseline, and oh, it's going to be blocked. How is – there you Fisher's go. He's going to blow a late whistle for the foul. He's hurt. He's up on his feet. He's up on his feet. They're holding their whistles, but how long can you hold the whistle there? And the coach <laughs> is not happy about that at all. Uh, and he's going to come out. Coach come on the floor, so the player is going to come out for a substitution. Braxton McGee is going to come in and shoot those free throws with that foul on Wheeler. And this will bring him into four. Four-point deficit territory again. If he makes a free throw. I had faith. He I had makes faith. the first one. I got that one. I, I got another one here. He's got it in him. That's Braxton. Braxton McGee. No, he's got this. I'm not even worried. He misses the second one. Tag gum at Braxton. <laughs> <laughs> and that double team again. I believe they're just extending that 2 3 zone defense out, but they let the hole in it. Oh, 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 oh. Sean Campbell comes in with a big block for the Trojans. Would you be blowing a whistle on that? No. No, sir. <laughs> Robinson back to Campbell. Going to try to take the baseline. Nothing there. And it's going to be a ball. turnover. Jaguars come up with the ball. And a shot here, it's going to be off the backboard, off the backboard which I thought should have been a whistle it. off the no, back of the backboard. Unless it's off the top. Uh, that, was, that was pretty close that's to the top. Be <laughs> that's going to be thrown away, and it's going to be Trojan basketball. So still 31-36 here. Substitution being made for the Jaguars. It's number 24 coming in for number 21, so that's going to be Brandon is hogging the Barber County Varsity boys roster over here. <laughs> That's Willie Screws coming in. We don't have a number 21 on our roster. 23, Whoa. 22, 24. And it's going to be a push on number 22. 22 is going to be called for a hand check. going to be Kumain Oliver. Tip out, so it'll be Charles Anderson ball. Last touch by the Jaguars. And right at two minutes left in the third period here. As they inbound the ball. McGee with it, gets it to kill Sean Campbell at the top of the key, and he loses it, and the Jaguars come up with it. And just held it too long the there. Get another but they're going to get it, and it's going to be two on two here. McGee takes it all the way, and he is rejected. 
what a block by the Jaguars. That that was uh that was quite close to goaltending. <laughs> he owned it. He did own it. Must I say he owned it. The fans are letting us know. Yeah, they are. They're they're, they're letting us that. know. They're very excited about that block. Kobe Jones with the ball for the Trojans. Good night. Jalen Tuck was ahead of him on that fast break, but he didn't pass it. He wanted it himself. And I must say, I probably would have passed that ball off. Yeah, I, I would have too. Kel Sean Campbell from the top of the free throw line. And Jaguars come up with a rebound, and he's having trouble getting out of the trap there. <laughs> Jaguars are trying to push it in. That's going to be Dixon with the basket. And the Trojans have got to answer here. They came out after the half and just really haven't had anything to show for it. Baskets are just aren't falling. They're just not They're falling for him. He gets a timeout for the Jaguars. Do the officials give it to him? Yes. Timeout white. And this place is alive now. It has come alive. It has come alive. That's it's gonna, it's gonna be a full timeout, so we're gonna take a timeout as well. A quick word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. Hooks Barbecue, down home barbecue in a counter serve setting, located on Emma Drive, off of Highway 231 in Troy, Alabama. We're back here, Barber County High School, as they have a seven point lead over the Charles Henderson Trojans. Jaguars inbound the ball. Less than a minute left here in the third period. Still 31 to 38 here with 40 seconds to go. Jaguar save it. Official raised his hand, but I'm not sure what that was. Kelshawn Campbell on the snowbird pass, and it's good for the Trojans. And one. And the basket. Are they going to count it? They didn't count it. On the floor. He's oh, gonna my say it's on gosh. On the floor before the shot. Foul's going to be on the floor. That is complete official judgment. And 28 seconds left here, 33 to 38. As Charles Anderson inbounds the ball. Kelshawn Campbell. And he's got his man open, there you go. And that's Robinson with a drive to the basket, he misses. Jaguars come up with a rebound. I'm sure they're gonna try one more shot in the third period. Well, here. with 15 seconds, they have a man open. Oh, and there's a dunk. Oh. <laughs> Lemaine Oliver with a dunk. He's gonna say that the Trojans stepped on the line inbound of the ball. Oh He's my be gosh. He couldn't paint a picture better than that right oh, there. Shelby Tuck may want to take this time between uh, quarters. I, I would say try so. Try to get this momentum swung the other way for the Trojans. Uh, I agree completely, Brandon. He's, he tried and it again. And one. Oh, my goodness. They're just on a roll now. Jarvis Williams is going to go up for the shot, and he's going to be fouled and make the basket. He's going to have a try. They I thought they one. were just high-fiving, really. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So 42 to 33 with 4.7 seconds left. Oh. 
He's going to miss the and one, and the Trojans are going to come up with the ball as they're pressed by the Jaguars. Trojans give it up. Oh. Jaguars going to miss the buzzer beater to take us into the fourth period, 33-42, to 42, and we'll be right back. Preston Steak and Grill in Troy serves quality food cooked over a wood fire grill. We'll call us for any event you may need catered at 334-770-0675. We're located at 1647 US-231 in Troy, Alabama. We're back here to start the fourth period. Jaguars moving the ball, trying to keep this momentum going, and he's going to be fouled. That'll send the Jaguars to the line for two shots. So 33 to 42 here now, Brandon. Start of the fourth quarter. He's going to make the first free throw. That's going to give the Jaguars a 10-point lead. And the shoe's on the other foot now, as we saw a 10-point uh, lead early in this game. <laughs> we have. That's three's going to be good for the Trojans. Jaguars trying to keep their momentum alive and on the floor. Blue foul, 33. And uh, during the break between the third and fourth quarter there, I actually uh, overheard the refs talking to both teams, telling them to uh, uh, stop the elbows. Uh, and OM. Oh, there's a dunk. There's a dunk. Number 34, Ralph Williams with the dunk for the Jaguars. That's going to be the fourth foul on number 33. Shelby Tuck may want to keep that in mind. As we start the fourth quarter here. And there's going to be another rejection. And, you know, they, they still have not gave the Jaguars that two points on, on, on their board. We have it on ours. Kill Sean Campbell's gonna go to the line for the Trojans. He makes the first one. Misses the second one, but gets the rebound, and, and it'll be, be in. a three-point play for the Trojans. They so, need a couple more of those. That's right, 39 to 46 now. Cut the lead back to seven, and we'll see if they can get a turnover. And the coach is not happy here. That's going to be a three and no. Jaguars come up with the rebound. Nope, the Charles Anderson it. pulls it out. It's going to be three on one play. Kobe Jones gets the rebound somehow, and Jaguars come up with it. Off of the fast break. Trojans couldn't capitalize. Later, 
Coach Shelby saying them to stay in it. Stay in. The two three zone inside the perimeter. Jaguars miss another three. Robinson gets the Oh, and the mishandle. He's going to lose it. Coach is calling timeout, but officials don't give it to him. Justin Hendricks to Robinson to Kobe Jones for the Trojans. Back to Robinson. He dishes it down to Killshawn Campbell, who oh. misses the basket. I'm telling you, the ball's just not falling I mean, for it, these it, Trojans. If they would have made every easy, well, I guess what you'd consider an easy shot or a layup, this game, they, uh, they it'd be 10 points higher. Official's going to call the ball off of Killshawn Campbell, and it's going to be Jaguars' ball on the baseline. Substitutions coming in for the Jaguars. Well, that's number 12, 22, and 42. It's going to be Khalil Grubbs, Lemayne Oliver, and Antoine Madison. And the Trojans are going to come up with the ball after the inbound by the Jaguars. Pass to Jalen Three Tuck pointer. Three and there it is. Drains it. Trojans could really use for him to get hot here in this fourth quarter. And we're back down to the four-point deficit we keep getting to, and then tr the tr uh, Trojans cannot break this four-point deficit. And a oh, block nice there. block by Kelshin Campbell on Dixon. <laughs> and I tell you what. Jalen Tuck for three again. It barely rims barely out. Barely rolls out. Jaguars coach got angry about that one. He has no room to talk. <laughs> these, these refs have kept their whistle quiet for quite a few of those, and they've gone his way tonight. Thing is, you can't lay down now. You've got to no. come back and play defense. That's right. That's right. They give him the baseline, and he takes it, and Jaguars come up with the offensive rebound. Dixon for the shot. And Charles Anderson gets the ball. Jalen Tuck crossing midcourt. He's wanting to drive in. He comes back out to the top of the key to Robinson, who fakes his shot, drives the lane, passes and to it'll Campbell. And will be stolen. stolen. By the Jaguars on a fast break. They're going to make the basket and make it a six-point lead now. The Trojans just can't get through that uh, four-point deficit. Timeout Trojans as Shelby Tuck takes a full timeout, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back. It's the 10,000 and under 10 set going on now at Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Y'all doing it big. That's right. The 10 is up, and the vehicles are marked down. Over 75 fresh quality vehicles. All marked down under $10,000. What'd you say? All marked down under $10,000. And they all got to go. Payments as low as $99 a month. Got credit? No credit? No problem. You can drive today. Hurry to Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Or check us out at PremierTroy.com. Nobody beats a Premier deal. No! But it's the 10000 and under 10 cents. Don't miss it. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, about four and a half minutes left here to play in the fourth period, and the Trojans are down six points. Um, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, we've got a close game here again tonight. <laughs> Every game this season Every so far game. has been a good game. Good That's game. Right. Let me encourage you to call your friends, call your family, let them know that Wiregrass Sports is live tonight at Barber County High School in Clayton, Alabama, bringing you live high school sports from Southeast Alabama. And Trojans inbound the ball. It's going to be Braxton McGee at the top of the key with the ball for the Trojans. He's going to pick up his dribble, pass off to Jalen Tuck, and loses his dribble. Over to Justin Hendricks, top of the key. Trojans trying to get out of this man-to-man -man defense that the Jaguars are currently in. He's looking for an official for the five-second count. And I believe he said there's enough space between them. He's not closely guarded. Oh, almost a steal there. This is, this is Three-pointer. Offensive rebound, two yes. points. Kelson Campbell. So there's this four-point deficit again. I don't know why they just gave him three points on that. Okay, they're changing it now. 44, it's not four to eight, 48. 44 to 48. And a Trojan steal. With a steal. Jalen Tuck with a fast break, and he's going to get another one. No foul. No foul. No whistle. So they finally break over this four-point deficit they've had for the last half. Bring it with back into two. Moving screen there, official. Uh, Hitch, reach and he's there. Gonna call the whistle for the hand check on uh, McGee there. It's going to be on the floor. Should be no shots yet. 
A full timeout for the Jaguars. Let's stay here just a minute as we only have three minutes and 20 seconds left. And let's thank you for watching tonight. Uh, as Wiregrass Sports is bringing you live high school basketball from Barber County High School here in Clayton, Alabama. Uh, please, get, if you haven't liked or followed our Facebook page, uh, let me encourage you to do that so that you can uh, receive notifications when we are live. We're also on YouTube, so subscribe to our YouTube channel, Wiregrass Sports. You can also visit uh, Thomas and Thomas Media, www.thomasandthomasmedia, that's spelled out A-N-D.com. And also, Live Sportscaster. That's right. Which is a website that's hosted in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. uh, Wiregrass Sports is, is live on LiveSportsCasters.com. You can also see us there. Uh, let me encourage you to tune in Thursday night as we'll be in Brundage, Alabama, as the Pike County Bulldogs are going to take on the Bulldogs of Geneva County High School. As the Trojans have pulled within two here with three, a little over three minutes left in the fourth period. Going to be Jaguar ball on the baseline here. And I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall in those two huddles. <laughs> to, just to know what was said. It's going to be deflected. Jaguar ball. Tries for the three, gets blocked there, and the two-pointer won't be good. So Charles Anderson will going to have the ball. Only down by two now. And the coach frantically calling a play to try to get the teams even. Kobe Jones passes it to Robinson. To Jalen Thomas. And there it is. For the drive to the basket. So we are even, 48-48 with 2.50 to go. Whoa, what a push off the official missed. And they just talked about that between the third and fourth. And it'll, ca it'll cause them to get two points. And Snowbird by McGee, he gets the basket and one. He's going to go to the line. One person. It's not... Jalen Tuck has the chance here to get the Trojans the lead again. Oh, that's right. And, and he, he does. So 51-50 now. Two and a half minutes left. And uh, wow, Brandon, I, just, I, am, I am so glad we got to cover this game. I am as well, Spencer. And you, you asked me at the beginning of the game what I thought. And <laughs> it's turned out to be exactly what uh, I was hoping correct. for. And look at this. Easy basket Open. for the Jaguars. <laughs> Trojans cannot give those up here no. late in the fourth quarter. No, absolutely cannot. not. Cannot. Those easy baskets down, you know, close to the basket in the lane. Uh, we've seen that three or four times here in the fourth quarter. And they can't do that. And that re and, and I'm telling you, these refs. Robinson <laughs> drives the lane for the Trojans. <laughs> That's right. Two put points. Them, put them back up by one. But these refs are really holding the whistle. They're letting them play. Another push off there that wasn't called. And a walk. <laughs> My goodness. We know it's hard to call games on the floor, but. It is. It is. It, Ooh. It, it's a lot easier from the bleacher. It, it, I'm sure it's a lot easier floor, from the bleacher. Spencer. That's right. Drives the lane there, and yeah. it'll be a foul. Justin Hendricks is going to get called for that foul. as He wrenched in and held as. Uh, Oliver was driving to the basket for the Jaguars. It's going to be two shots. That's right, Brandon. So they can retake the lead here by making both of these. Let's see if Clemaine can capitalize. No. He misses the first one. And a substitution will be made for the Jaguars. Number 10 coming in. That's going to be Rondarius Warren. That's not, that's not accurate. And one point there Jaylen to make it 53-53. So tied back up. Kobe Jones with the ball to Kelshawn Campbell for the basket, and he's going to miss it. But offensive rebound for the Trojans will keep it alive. Robinson back to Kobe Jones. Top of the key. He's going to be closely guarded now. He drives to the basket. He's going to lose the ball. 
Hendricks is going to come up with it for the Trojans. There's Tuck in the lane, passes to Campbell, and oh, it's going to fall in. It's going to fall in. That was crazy. It just kind of rolled Shelby in. Shelby Tuck's. Coach Tuck is going to call the timeout. He's going to get it. We're going to stay right here. Yeah, let's stay here. Let's stay here. This is uh, intense. Hey, let me encourage you. If you're watching right now, we've got a close ball game. This is called a barn burner. <laughs> we call <laughs> these right. barn burners. Uh, that's right, Brandon. Let me encourage you to invite people to tune in. Wildgrass Sports on Facebook, YouTube. You can visit www.thomasandthomasmedia.com. That's spelled out A-N-D. And with a close game like this, why wouldn't you want to watch? This is this is awesome. I, I I agree. I agree. Let me encourage you again to tune in Thursday night as we'll be in Brundage, Alabama, as the Pike County Bulldogs are going to take on Geneva County. Nothing like being in this gym in Clayton, Alabama, and hearing the announcers say, are there any Jaguars in the house? <laughs> That's right. You this know gym is alive. You know it's basketball season. So 58 seconds here. Jaguars with the ball. Willie Screws coming around the key. They're looking for something in the lane. They're probably going to try to only get one shot off here. I, I believe so. Trying and to kill as much clock as possible. And, hey, without a shot clock, why wouldn't you? Exactly. Oh, Good they're going to drive it, though. They're going to come up with it, and he's going to make the basket. That's going to be Quilane Oliver for the Jaguars. It's going to be 55-55. It's tied up here, ladies and gentlemen. And we've got 16 seconds left on the clock. And Coach Tuck is going to get a timeout. He's going to call one play with one shot to try to win this game with That's 15 right. seconds left. That's right. Let me say a uh, quick thank you to our sponsors, uh, Hooks Barbecue, Preston's, Sullivan Premier, Printing. Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Premier Ram and Chrysler, Troy. Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep in Troy, Alabama. Hey, if you're looking to buy a vehicle, Go see those guys at Premier. They'll do you right. Uh, that's right. Free purchase. That's right. They're not going to hassle you into purchasing a vehicle. Yeah. They're going to make your payments right. And great local people, too. It is great local people and service with that's their right. own service center. So if you have any problems, you just you take it back to where you bought it from. And, you know, they don't only work on uh, uh, Dodge Jeep Rams. They can work on any kind of car. Really? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And great garage, great people. And why wouldn't you support local business in Troy, Alabama? Exactly. So, hey. If you're not in the market for a car, but you've got something wrong with your current. Just take it there. Go to Premier. That's right. Go see the guys at Premier. Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep in Troy, Alabama. 15.6 seconds here uh, on the clock. We're tied all at 55. And the announcer once again wants to know if there's any Jaguars in the house, Spencer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coach Tuck has no, no timeouts for the Trojans. Jaguars have two remaining timeouts. And we're gonna, Trojans are gonna have one play, one shot here. Inbound the ball to Robinson. He's got a clear view to the lane and it's gonna be blocked. No Jaguars are gonna come up with the ball and officials blow a whistle. I don't see a sign whose ball it is yet. It's gonna be Jaguar ball. Covey Jones hit the floor pretty hard and Coach Fryer is going to take a full timeout. Let's go ahead and take a timeout, quick 30-second timeout. Uh, we'll be right back. Preston Steak and Grill in Troy serves quality food cooked over a wood fire grill. Call us for any event you may need catered at 334-770-0675. We're located at 1647 US 
We're back here live in Barber County High School, Clayton, Alabama, as we've got a barn burner. We're tied up at 55 with 10.4 seconds left on the clock. It's gonna be Trojan ball. It's gonna be Jaguar ball as they call the timeout. That's right, they had a full timeout before we went to break. And it's gonna be Jaguar ball with 10.4 seconds left. Kelshawn Campbell had a good look at the basket there. Good shot and just couldn't capitalize on That's it or right. finish. That's right. And, you know, a lot of people would say after after watching that play that uh, uh, they, they should have been called for something there. I know Kobe Jones hit the floor hard. Jaguars cross the floor, cross midcourt, and they're going to drive to the lane, and there's a shot. And he's going to oh, miss, gonna miss going it. He's going to miss it. He's going to miss it. We're going to overtime. <laughs> And that was close. That was so it close. It was very close. It bounced around the rim, but it didn't go in. It could have held your breath on that one yeah, right there. Let's take another quick timeout. We're going to have a four-minute overtime period. We'll be right back. And we're back here, Clayton, Alabama, Barber County High School, as we're going to have an overtime period. We're tied up at 55. Jump ball, and Trojans gain possession. Possession arrow will be to the Jaguars. And he's going to get double teamed here, but gets away from it. It's almost like we're just going to play four minutes of basketball tonight. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> As the momentum changes we've had, Kobe Jones drives oh. the basket, and it's no good. But it's going to be Charles Anderson ball. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be out on Jaguars, and Trojans will inbound the ball on the baseline. Did you see this game going in overtime today? I, I did not I, see I that. sure didn't after the first quarter. I didn't. We've had some lead changes, momentum changes, and – Jalen passes it to the corner for three. Oh, but he air balls it. Jaguars bring it back. I, d I did not see it going in overtime. I, I was hoping for a close not game. Not at all. But I didn't think that at the end of regulation. He tries to steal it, but it's going to cost him two points. So 57-55 now with just a little bit over three minutes remaining. Trojans moving the ball around the perimeter. Jalen Tuck driving to the basket, and he's going to get the foul. One and one. He will go to the line. Willie Screws with the foul for the Jaguar. Well, these two points right here are crucial. Remember what you said earlier in the game, Brandon, you know, these, uh, uh, these free throws. They, they can make or break <laughs> a game. Hey, they can. right now. Absolutely. I'm going to tell you, I, I am a firm believer There's that one. free throws win ball games. Well, we're about to find free out. Free throws win <laughs> basketball games. Let's see, what do the Jaguars have, about eight missed free throws right now? Uh, probably. About eight. So, I mean, yeah. yeah Jalen Tuck with a chance here to tie it up. And he will. Oh, we're going to have a substitution for the Jaguars. A little confusion going on here. As we can see here, the coach is uh, calling plays. Jaguars move the ball around the perimeter. Looking for something inside the paint. It's not there. But they'll bring it around. He's got a three-pointer open right now. He's not going to take it. His man will take a deep. Nope. Would have been blocked. And he's going to drive to the lane and... And two points there. Jaguar is going to get the offensive rebound. And 
come up with a basket. Give them a two-point lead here with 2.27 left in the overtime period. I hope it's not the first. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. We, we, we take the road tonight. Three-pointer. for three, and oh, it's good. Oh, oh, oh. going to give the Trojans a one-point one lead. One-point lead, baby. So 60 to 59 with 209 left. And um, <laughs> it's going to steal the ball. Who's, who's it going to be? It's going to be Jaguar basketball. It's going to hold Jaguars right there. He's going to say it was off of the Trojan. Now they're going to have to pull the Charles Anderson coach out of <laughs> <laughs> off of the court. <laughs> off the court here in a second. It was a long pass. Trojans come up with it. And Kelsey he's going to go Campbell all the way back. Oh, he leaves. Oh, man. Fisher's going to call travel. I, I, I did not the see a travel. Was, the ball was deflected. He lost the ball. He lost possession. He gained it again. Once he gained it, I believe the official blew his whistle and called travel. There is Robinson's going to get called with a foul. That's five fouls on him. So he'll so be out. going to need a substitution from the Trojans. So one point game here. And uh, right now we can tie it. It's one and one. So let's see let's see what we got here. Misses it's that first one. Trojan's gonna come up with a rebound. Kill Sean Campbell. Kobe Jones bring the ball down for the Trojans. Crosses mid court. Good pick there by Allen, and it was deflected. So no backcourt call there. Tuck with the pass inside to Campbell, and get out of there. Can't go anywhere. Uh oh, oh. they're gonna hit him with a travel. He come up. The ball was touched. Was yeah. Blocked. There was no jump ball. They're gonna give him travel. Okay. Jaguars with the ball. Chance to take the lead here and wide open under the basket. There it's you go. Be it's going to no be a block. Whistle. And a he's late gonna, whistle there. He's going to take it up again, and Allen's going to get called for the foul on the basket. Good. Allen gets called for the foul. And 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 he's got a point after here. Well, Maine Oliver is going to shoot the and one. And misses, misses the and one. Free throws. Allen with the rebound for the Trojans. Just over a minute here left in the overtime period. And let's see if the Trojans can't put some points on the board. Almost, Almost gets it stolen there. Oh, and he's, and he's going to call travel. He's going to get called for the travel. With a minute left. One point game. See Coach Shelby Tuck there. Trying to change his defense strategy a little bit. Double team. Open in the for the three, but he won't take it. And they're gonna get called for a travel. So there you go. The Jaguars. Forty-seven seconds here. Trojans with the ball, and official calls timeout. So we have an official timeout here. We're trying to correct in the clock. Figure something out. Yeah, they're going to correct the clock. They're going to change it to 49 seconds. Okay, so we're at 49 seconds now. We're, we'll just let it sit at 43 on ours. Substitution for the Jaguars. 
Great basketball game tonight, Spencer. Excellent basketball game tonight. I'm hoping for the same thing Thursday night. If you'll tune in to Wiregrass Sports, we'll be in Brundage as the Pike County Bulldogs take on Geneva County. We've got 42 seconds left here of some great basketball as the Trojans move the ball around the perimeter. Jalen inside to Campbell. And he gets open. it. He makes a basket, 62 to 61. And We've they're calling for the full court press. A little 30 seconds left here in this game. And, and a timeout. Jaguars are going to take a timeout. It's 28 seconds. It's going to be a full timeout. Let's take a quick timeout here. And we'll be right back. It's the 10,000 and under 10 set. Going on now. At Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Y'all doing it big. That's right. The 10 is up and the vehicles are marked down. Over 75 fresh quality vehicles. All marked down under $10,000. What'd you say? All marked down under $10,000. And they all got to go. Payments as low as $99 a month. Got credit? No credit? No problem. You can drive today. Hurry to Premier Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Or check us out at PremierTroy.com. Nobody beats a Premier deal. No. Nobody. It's a 10000 and under 10 cent. Don't miss it. Preston Steak and Grill in Troy serves quality food cooked over a wood fire grill. Call us for any event you may need to cater at 334-770-0675. We're located at 1647 US 231 in Troy, Alabama. We're back here in Clayton, Alabama. With 28 seconds left. As the Charles Henderson Trojans are leading the Barber County Jaguars by one. 62 to 61. And I tell you what, this game has been a seesaw. One team will have the momentum, and then the other team will have the momentum, and then we finally have got to a point now where both teams are just fighting for this game. Do you cook any, Spencer? I cook a little bit. This is what I call a recipe for a good basketball <laughs> game. That's absolutely correct. Jaguars inbound the ball, 28 seconds left. Back to the top of the key. They're moving around. Uh, the they're going to try to kill this time they and are. get they're one. They're going to try to go one shot. Yep, they're going to go one shot they're here. Keep looking in that lane. Oh! <laughs> I thought they were going to get a walk there. Down the baseline, kick it back out. He wants a three. He's not going to take it back to the baseline, and Allen's going to get called for the foul on the floor. So with 10 seconds left. We'll have – is this going to be a one and it's one? It's going to be a one and one. After okay. this next foul will be two shots. Hey, what did you say earlier? Free throws win games? Free throws win games. He's Man. got nine seconds left, and he's got a chance to go up by one here. Absolutely. Not, Absolutely. Not counting the previous free throws you've already mentioned, they've missed. <laughs> exactly. He oh, and he there. misses it. Campbell with the rebound. And Tuck they'll foul him. Get fouled, and he's going to go to the line for two shots with 5.5 seconds left. Trojan's going to try to increase his lead here, and he will get two shots. You ever ran laps for three free throws before in, 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 in high school basketball? Because, man. Let, let me tell you, Spencer. <laughs> let me tell you. In high school, when I played basketball, uh -huh. he's going to say one and one. Okay. A after this, after this, next foul will be two shots. In high school, in basketball practice. You didn't leave the gym till you shot 70% in free throw line. That's right. You had to make 7 out of 10 free throws before you could leave practice. Man, Michael Jordan really wouldn't have liked that. <laughs> <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal would have never left No, practice. he sure wouldn't have. He makes the first one. To take a two-point lead, 63-61 now, 5.5. I believe Coach Tuck's going to take a timeout on the make here. Jalen Tuck at the line for the free throw, and he makes it, and Tuck's going to take time out. So 64-61, three-point game, and uh, we'll see what the Jaguars do right after this break.
we're back here at Barber County High School. 5.5 seconds left as the Trojans have a three-point lead over the Jaguars. That's right, Brandon. This has been a nail-biter. <laughs> this is the OT here. Jaguars inbound the ball and timeout. He's going to cross half court and call timeout. That's oh, just so man. they can inbound the ball on that side That's of the right. court. Trojans didn't press too much. No. Well, let's keep it right here for this. Let's keep it here this for this time out. Timeout. Back, back to my high school days, those glory days that you <laughs> mentioned earlier when I was, uh, you were talking about me trying to dunk. Yeah. I, I can remember time being put on the clock. 15, 20 minutes was nothing. And as soon as the whistle was blown, coach blow the whistle, you'd start walking. He'd blow the whistle, you'd start jogging. He'd blow the whistle, you'd run, sprint. He'd blow it, you'd jog back to walk the whole 20 minutes. That wasn't the only time you did it in practice. That sounds terrible. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. But conditioning, conditioning is key for basketball. As you can see, we've got some Trojan players. Uh, Kelshawn Campbell, uh, Jalen Tuck. They've been in most of the game tonight. They've, they've played most of the game. I still think this game boils down to free throws. I mean, it's, it's just like you said, the game would have been over, first of all, if the Jaguars would have hit let's say 70% of their free throws. So let's see where this goes. 3.8 Three seconds. seconds left. We got one shot. He gets it off and nothing. He's miss it. The Trojans are going to come up with the victory tonight over the Barber County Jaguars. The final is going to be 64-61 after one period of overtime. And I want to thank you all for watching again. For sure. Uh, another thank you to our sponsors. Be sure to tune in Thursday night as we'll be in Brundage, Alabama as the Pike County Bulldogs take on the Bulldogs of Geneva County High School Thursday night about 5.30, 5.45 p.m. Be sure to check us out on Facebook at Wiregrass Sports, YouTube, Wiregrass Sports, www.thomasandthomasandspelledoutmedia.com and livesportscasters.com. From Clayton, Alabama, Boulder County High School, Wildgrass Sports telling saying good night.